Hello, I'm uh, Tobias Turnstrom and uh, I'm a lead program manager in the SQL Server engine uh, working on the data platform team. My team works on programmability in SQL, type system, libraries, T-SQL, uh, these types of things. Uh, and I wanted to talk to you about uh, optimized productivity that you can get with SQL Server 2012. And um, the one feature that I wanted to uh, to tell a bit of a story around this uh, sequence generators that we added in 2012. Like a sequence generator is basically uh, the identity property grabbed out of the table and made its own object. So you can use it to generate a set of keys, uh, and you use this typically for you know primary keys uh, in or across tables. And um, it was a lot of work that went into this feature to make it um, easy to use and obviously performance is a huge aspect of a feature like this. Um, and one of the things that I was very curious to find once we released it into our TAP program to have uh, basically customers come and pound the feature, pound the product early in the release cycle uh, so that we can basically deliver the best possible product uh, there is. Um, once they, they got it in their hands, uh, they did something which was very interesting. So they have a huge number of inserts they, they have to manage uh, per second. And what they ran into with uh, uh, previous releases of SQL Server and, uh, is that basically all of these inserts, they have a single uh, index, all of the inserts happen at the end of the table. And basically what happens is you get a hotspot at the end of the table, which at some point becomes a bottleneck to, um, for the number of inserts that you can handle. So they wanted to try to alleviate this hotspot. And with the help of sequence generators, they used that to generate a new key. But instead of taking the key and shoving it in the table, they uh, basically flip all of the bits in the key that we generate. So if you have a 32-bit key, they just flip each of the bits, which means it's still a unique key as long as you always flip the bits. Uh, but more interestingly, uh, one number will be positive and one will be negative. So you end up generating every other key goes in every other side of the table, uh, which basically alleviated the hotspot and got them a huge performance uh, increase. They were uh, actually uh, they were very happy about this. And it was very cool to me that we worked on this feature. We never kind of anticipated this particular use case. But obviously, it just works with sequence generators, whereas you couldn't do this with identity since the property is just generated and inserted into the table for you. You never have access to it. Um, if you're interested in trying out sequence generators and lots of other good things we have in SQL Server 2012, I'd urge you go download the bits, uh, install it, try it out, and see what you can do. Thanks.